Welcome to this week in 5 minute news bulletin on Ghana District TV. For more news, visit ghanadistrict.com or interact with us on our social media handles at Ghana District. My name is Kweku Sechidanso. Coming up in the next 5 minutes. NALAC adapts new strategies to increase women participation in local governments. Also, youth in Doma West advised to develop interest in agriculture. Agenda 111 to relieve residents from traveling long distances for health care. And in Shai Osudoku, Directorate of Education renews commitment to help improve reading among pupils. We will bring you this and more. Please stay, don't go away. In our first story, the quest for increased female participation and representation in governance process remains a critical concern in Ghana as most women shy of leadership position, especially at the local level. However, to address this canker, the National Association of Local Authorities of Ghana, NALAG, has begun a nationwide sensitization workshop to empower women who have already shown interest in contesting this year's district assembly's election. Mr. Kukuro Amankwa is the General Secretary for NALAG. There are certain perceptions that they have that it looks like the arena that they are going into is a men's uh, Filled, and that uh, they cannot compete favorably with them. But I think we have to change that narrative because we need women at the local level, we need other assemblies. At the same event, some participants share their views and expectations. It will go a long way for me to go to the ground and then campaign for my winning for the second time. I should achieve something better so that if I go to my grounds, I will know what it takes in district assembly. Youth in the Doma West district have been advised to develop interest in agriculture, particularly rice cultivation, to take advantage of the newly established rice processing factory. The DC, Francis Kojo Opong, who gave the advice, said the operation of the factory will help reduce post-harvest losses and increased job and wealth creation among the people. As a DC, my answer is area of the country is going to be free. I share. I share my concern. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Once the factory is not back, no, no. Yes, we will be able to be on. We will be able to move on. The district education director for Shai Osudoku, Madam Harriet Lumote, says her office remains committed to its action plan of inculcating the habit of reading in pupils of all basic schools across the district. She revealed this at the climax of the 2023 edition of the Shai Osudoku District Reading Festival. It's all about encouraging every Ghanaian child to love reading. They must have special interest in reading. The teachers are, they have been introduced to it, and the CISOs have made it part of their action plan that in every school they enter, when they go out there looking, you know, supervising, they are to make sure that the, every learner has done a certain page of a book. Mr. Nicholas Kuponyayi, the district chief executive of Bia East, is delighted that the Agenda 111 hospital project expected to be completed by March 2024 will relieve the stress on people traveling long distances for medical care. By a district, you need any hospital at home. So we are at Bia East district. Oko Bia West, Oko Bia West, na obesa nechi eko inkram kwanza aye Doma West, enye Doma West, na Oko Doma Central, anasa sinye ena yendi sebi yari siro se free ya district mo ediko, intebira abaye echiche aye nyia ajenda one one one, yadi ya yeni eji yi na na muni na eso muni. This is where we wrap up on this week in 5 minutes news bulletin on Ghana District TV. For more news, visit ghanadistrict.com or interact with us on our social media handles at Ghana District. My name is Kweku Sechidanso. Thanks for watching.